cubs, males. Beautiful. Well done, girl. You were busy last night, I guess. Manu, you do realize that we spent probably about two hours in this area yesterday afternoon looking for them here. This always happens to me with the sausages. Look at the little cubs having a game. Lioness at the back covering the stomach contents. Ava, who is one of our regular six-year-old viewers. Good morning, Ava. Now, Ava, you want to know why is it that the male lions have fluffy manes, but the females don't get to have them? And the answer to that is because the males live very competitive lives. In other words, they have to fight with each other a lot, whether it's to get a territory or to be able to be the fathers of little cubs like these ones playing right here. And so the big mane, fluffy around his head and his neck, helps to protect the male lion when he's fighting with other males. So the neck and the head, those are the most fragile parts of that particular lion. So it basically helps him to protect himself. And at the same time, it says to all the other male lions, when he's got a big mane of hair, it says, I'm the biggest, healthiest thing out here, and you don't want to pick a fight with me. But the problem with having a mane is that it's kind of hot. Now, I don't know, you must have worn a scarf in winter. You know how it keeps your neck warm, but sometimes it gets too hot after a while. That's just what it's like having a mane, except they can't take it off. So the females don't have manes, which is why they actually can, they have a little bit more stamina. They can run for a bit longer. They don't get as hot because they're lighter and they're not wearing a scarf around their heads and their necks the entire time. <laughs> what you got? Zebra leg, zebra leg. <laughs> okay, well, we know what they ate. I didn't do it while we watch our little pale cub bound about. You want to know if she'll get darker with age? Yes, I think she probably will. Let's wait and see. I think that she'll always be slightly paler than the rest of them, but she really, in certain light, she really is incredibly distinctive. You can't mistake her. The others are so much more golden than she is. Here she comes. She's going to come popping out, and she's going to get pounced on. By an older cousin. She's grown so much while I've been away. She's caught up. Always the tiniest one in the group. <laughs> Just goes to show. Never have a plan. Yes, go get that zebra leg. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You're feisty enough. Go get the zebra leg. That's it. Practice those hunting skills. <laughs> Female in the back, still methodically covering the stomach contents. There we go. There we go. Get it. Oh, no, don't. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> That's it. Be clever. Use a distraction technique. Not quite large enough to challenge the older cousin. Flop. Fine. <laughs> 